What a great way to take in a Tuesday afternoon. You're watching the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. On the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Let's check out Minnesota's starting lineup. Ebb is at the two with McDaniels playing the three. Julius Randle out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point. And for the Lakers, Russell and Reeves teaming up in the backcourt. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the small forward position. And how much fun is it to watch these guys move the basketball court? Well, they've got two main ingredients. One, you've got go. to have a system that demands unselfishness. And then you need players that are willing to play unselfishly. And they've got both of those things. Conley against Russell. Pass to Randall. Here's Edwards. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And from what we've seen so far in his career, Anthony Edwards wants to be that guy in crunch time, Clark. B.A., I love his mentality. Not only in that he wants to be the guy, but he also wants to elevate his teammates. And he plays the game with an exuberance and a joy and a freshness that is, you know, quite good to see. But I like his attack mentality and his willingness to step into leading his team by example at both ends of the floor. Clark, with Minnesota being a major player in the West now, Wolves Nation is howling. Howling and growling, B.A. That's the name of their fan base. And yeah, they're excited. And for good reason. Not only is this team competitive, but they can be downright dominant at times, especially at the defensive end of the floor. Easy group to cheer for. All right, guys, we're lucky to have Shams Charania joining us now. Our 2K insider calling in with a story. What do you got, Shams? Thanks. And this summer saw the passing of Laker legend, three-time basketball Hall of Famer, the logo, Jerry West, an all-star every year of his outstanding playing career before going on to have such a successful career as a coach and as an executive. Guys, this league will bear his imprint forever. Jerry West will be missed. An all-time great. Okay, Shams, thank you. Stay clear of Gobert on the dunk now. The force he goes to the rim with is mighty. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. I did briefly speak with J.J. Redick. He knows it'll be tough to score in the paint tonight. Gobert locks down the lane as well as anyone. He blocks shots, and then when you count up the numbers of shots he alters, you get a full picture of his dominance at the defensive end, guys. All right, Allie, thanks once again. And so Randall will bring it up for the Timberwolves. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Outside Russell. A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. And he's going for the lob. Six to shoot. Achimura in the post. McDaniels covering. And it's Achimura missing. Ooh, I think he wants that one back. I mean, he knows he's capable of better. Outside Conley. James against Randall. Outside McDaniels. Randall a screen on Achimura. McDaniels from long range. Buries it from three. If you want the title of three and D player, you've got to make threes. McDaniels has really worked on that shot. And we've got a timeout called by J.J. Redick. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over.
Here's Reeves. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Russell with the ball. Looking to win the run. Randall pulls down the board. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Now here's Conley. Back to Randall. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Lakers trail by eight. You know, a reliable veteran like Julius Randle is so valuable. He provides a foundation for everyone else to play off of because they know he'll be there to score and help out. He makes it easier for other players to succeed around him. That one goes in. His overall size and strength really sets James apart from the rest of his peers when you think about his skill set inside. Now here's Conley. Yet to see a basket. Outside McDaniels. Gobert with a screen on Achimura. McDaniels passes to Gobert. Launches a three. That one's good from James on the assist by Davis. James has got five. From deep in three-point land, when LeBron commits to a shot even that far away from the hoop, no stopping. Now here's Edwards. Minnesota again missing. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. McDaniels against Hachimura. Back to James. is the glass on the layup. He has seven. Well, you know, he's not a guy that's just going to settle for pulling up. When he has an opportunity, he's going to take it strong to the hoop. Randall outside. Back to Conley. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Edwards. And it's blocked by Davis. His great length really helps A.D. defensively. Reeves finds Davis. And he misses the go-ahead basket. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Edwards against Reeves. From downtown. Edwards can't get that one to fall. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide-open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. And stolen by Gobert. And now the T-Wolves on the break to win the cold spell. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Here's Achimura following the score by Minnesota. James outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. James has got nine. Fighting through contact. Not easy trying to corral LeBron when he's focused on scoring. Good luck with that. And Edwards, here we go. Yep, that one goes. He does not lack for confidence. And he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous sport. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The T-Wolves on top, up three. We've got more in store for you right after this. If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Timberwolves. You figured they might want to come out and run, and it's been the key for them early. They are just feasting on fast break chances. One other factor today, points off turnovers. I mean, let's see if they can keep up the pressure. 
capitalize off more forced miscues. You know, Clark, with the Lakers, at times, it is hard to maintain a sense of continuity. Boy, it sure is, B. I mean, there's always pressure to improve or be at your best, but even more so when you're playing in the glitz and glamour of L.A. and all that history. And because of that, sometimes it can lead to high team turnover when you're playing for the Lakers. On the court for the Timberwolves, second quarter underway. We've got Nikhil Alexander-Walker, McDaniels out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then there's Edwards, and it's Reed in at the five, roaming the paint. The entire defense was frozen for it. Nobody picked up the shooter. Pass to James. Never gets old seeing LeBron explode off the floor like that. And so it's Edwards who brings up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Here's the three. He drops it from range. Edwards got six. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here is James. 11 points in the game. Vincent outside. 4-3. Alexander Walker grabs a board. Minnesota leading by four. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. The Lakers are looking to get downhill. Anthony Davis said we try to attack the basket and live in the paint. That's part of our identity, our DNA. It's getting to the line and guys catching rhythms like that and then playing from there. KYG, know your game. They do that well, Ali. And Minnesota with possession here. Outside Edwards. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Lakers. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And there's James from the arc. Gets the three ball to go. He's got 14. That signature pull up. Not many do it like James does. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Alexander Walker, the pass to Reed. McDaniels inside. James is there. Clock at six. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. The three, DiVincenzo. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Vincent passes to James. Grant, there's oh, oh, big time right yes. there. LeBron showing you how he does it. A stylish flush by King James. Can they get it? Reed passes to DiVincenzo. Yep, count it. And you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid range. And we've got a timeout call by J.J. Redick. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments.
Minnesota with some changes. Gobert's checked in for Reed. Randall comes in for McDaniels. And Conley subbed in for Alexander Walker. Here's Reeves. No made baskets yet. Pass to Davis. Oh, the power! Anthony Davis! Yes, sir. A deep. Threw it down easily. And Grant, the success of teams like the Timberwolves showing that size still matters. Yeah, in this pace and space era, that may have come into question just a bit. But size and skill combined has always been your best bet at winning. DiVincenzo can't hit. The Lakers lead by three. Hachimura pass to Davis. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Well, what a great effort that time by Davis. Just never gave up on him. Worked through tough defense and still found a way to get it up and down. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Los Angeles? They've really been pushing that thing in the open floor. And so far, the opposition's not been able to slow them down at all. Yeah, on top of that, they've been resourceful defensively, generating scoring opportunities by forcing turnovers. And the free throw, no good. And when you look at the Lakers, a lot has happened since their championship run in 2020, Clark. Yeah, it really has, B.A., and I think some of it you have to attribute it to a significant amount of roster turnover. And then you pair that with coaching changes. One of the keys to being successful in anything and at any level and in the NBA, stability, continuity. You've got to have it with the executive management team, coaches, and players. And they've not had that, so the consistency has been hard to find. And Minnesota with possession here. Following the score by the Lakers. Pass to Edwards. McDaniels with it. 127 left in the first half of this game. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Here's Davis. No luck on that one. Ooh, great D that time from Gobert. Randall outside. To the middle. Oh, Gobert hammers it home. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Russell to pass to Achimura. Shot clock at six. Launches it. The shot by Russell, no good. Minnesota has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Edwards. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Gobert. Takes a three. Rebound by the Lakers. High post Davis. It's rebounded by Anthony Edwards. Outside McDaniels. Back to Edwards. Let's it go from deep. Edwards making it look so easy from deep. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's Minnesota leading by one. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.
And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do, using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. Here's James. Russell and Reeves teaming up in the backcourt. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the three. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. To the inside. And Davis slams it home. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Well, Clark, the first nine years of his career, he played mostly power forward. But over the last three, Anthony Davis playing a lot of center. And I think his game has become more focused on staying in the paint, which is where he's dominant. He's added tons of strength over the years. He's using that to his advantage. He's always been one of the special players in the league, in my opinion. And he's still one of the top 15 guys in the league for sure. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. And Conley's a guy that leads by example. And as a result, his teammates respect and trust him completely. And Conley drops them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Conley against Russell. Pass to James. Offline with a three. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Outside Conley. And the call will be against Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves. That'll be a second foul of the game. His second personal foul. Second team foul. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. Gobert with a screen on James. Randall, the pass to Gobert. Stolen by Davis. Outside Russell. And it's slammed in by Atsumura. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy buff. Minnesota's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Left side, Edwards. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. And Anthony Edwards has stated that his goal is to ultimately surpass Michael Jordan. Hey, look, that is um, a lofty goal to run after. I don't know if he'll catch him, but I like the fact that he's ambitious enough and confident enough to put it out there. His ability speaks for itself. This guy's a star already, and his star continues to shine. His work ethic and confidence give me belief that he's going to have a chance to at least get close to that. We know about 25 years ago, there was a guy named Kobe Bryant who sought to do something similar to what MJ had did, and he got pretty close to matching it. He hits the second from the line. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. And he lobs it up. Oh, Davis, finish it off the lob. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Conley passes to Randall. Back to Conley. Pass to Edwards. 
Floats one up. And Davis with the block. To the paint. Randall with a steal. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. And he makes it. You know, Randall has a nice package. He's got a good touch, good mechanics, and he's a capable mid-range shooter. Pass to Russell. Back to James. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. They'll pin that one on Julius Randle. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Old school D right there, just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. First free throw is good. Well, Grant, even though it looks like LeBron could play forever, he stated that he doesn't have much time left. Well, it's unbelievable that he's sustained this level of excellence for as long as he has. I would be surprised if we see this type of longevity ever again. Christie's checked in for Los Angeles. Both free throws good from James. Clark, what's incredible about LeBron? He makes as big of an impact off the court as he does on it. B.A., I think he's going to be one of the great case studies when he's all done playing. How he's impacted the game and uplifted people across the country and world. He's a tremendous advocate for social justice. He's obviously a shrewd and successful businessman. And he's been a vocal leader who also leads by example. He's actually epitomizing the change he'd like to see in other folks. And, Inspiring along the way. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, LeBron James last season set the record for most all-star nods in NBA history. He said, quote, I'm blessed to do what I love and just to try to give back to the game that's given to me over two decades. Long ago, I exceeded anything I ever dreamed of being in the NBA. Everything else is just extra credit. Brian? Thanks, Allie. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Alexander Walker comes in for Conley. And that one misses. You know, Clark, 2024 saw Anthony Davis make his return to the All-Star game. And really, B.A., such a pleasure to see him back on the court healthy and producing. And that's not been an issue. The issue has been him being hurt and not being able to be on the court. But he's a perennial All-Star when he's healthy and playing and doing exactly what he's done throughout his career at both ends, be a dominant center. Now here's Randall. And Chris Finch has called timeout. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. Clark Achimura has always been a monster with his strength. He knows how to use his frame. He sure does, and he has an ample frame, B.A., and working out with LeBron during the summer in training certainly hasn't hurt him in that regard. He knows how to use his body, but he's also become a pretty reliable three-point shooter and all-around scorer. Ingles, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Number seven, Joe On 
the wing, Alexander Walker, guarded by Russell. Alexander Walker, the pass to Randall. Long target from range. Randall's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, you know, he's evolving his offense over time, Julius Randall. And I think the coaching staff is happy to see it. They like to see him take and make these shots. And Gobert with a block. And he's able to get it back. Minnesota's gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Down low. Hachimura against Ingles. Back to Randall. Pass to Ingles. Five on the clock. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Lakers. Well, the defense looks helpless trying to contain them in the open four. And they've continued to exploit this advantage. And the defense has been disrupted, forcing turnovers, challenging shots. The turnovers they've been able to turn into points, too. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Some changes now for the Lakers. Vanderbilt's checked in for LeBron. Reddish comes in for Achimura, and Vincent is subbed in for Russell. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. And Ingles drops them both. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Vincent outside. And there's the lob. DiVincenzo with a steal. Alexander Walker, the pass to Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. Boy, what a throwdown by the well built 6'9 Julius Randall with power. Vincent outside. Davis a screen. Vincent passes to Davis. And Davis gets double team. Shot to stop the run. And once again, off the mark by Los Angeles. DiVincenzo, the pass to Alexander Walker. Now Ingles, guarded by Vanderbilt. From seven feet. And there's the play inside by Randall. Randall's got nine points here in the second half. Boy, he's a wrecking ball on offense. Randall, so good at finishing inside. Vincent passes to Davis. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's foul number two for him. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Number five. With one on the clock. No good on the shot. And that'll do it for the third quarter. It's Minnesota. They're up by five. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the court for the Timberwolves. Joe Ingles is out there with Nas Reed. Then there's Anthony Edwards. Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And it's Steven Chenzo in at the three. The small forward. Alexander-Walker. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's on LeBron James. 
first team ball. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal Shoot opportunity two. offense is fun to watch. And I also have to praise them for their three-point shooting. They're showing a lot of confidence, letting them fly from deep. And he knocks down the first one. goes in two from the line that time Lakers trail by seven Vincent outside pass to James Vanderbilt a screen on Ingles James can't get it to go and it's Edwards with a ball for Minnesota Outside, DiVincenzo. This one for three. Vanderbilt pulls it in. The Lakers shooting it well, around 55% for the game. Pass to Christie. Oh, got a piece of it. James against Ingles. He's off on the layup. The Timberwolves lead by seven. And here's Edwards outside. Drops in the three. Nice smooth three-point shot by Edwards there. Boy, he's got confidence from behind the arc. Now James. James double teamed. Here's Reddish. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Minnesota's going one of two from deep in this quarter. Edwards looking it over. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Vanderbilt's got four rebounds now. Out to the wing. And here's Vincent inside. Here's James. Physical play by LeBron inside. You know, what's so impressive to me is the defense is trying to make adjustments, but LeBron's making even quicker reads. That's his IQ at work. Reed sets a screen for three. DiVincenzo, it's rebounded by Los Angeles. Vanderbilt's got his fifth rebound in this one. Christie passes to Vanderbilt. And Vanderbilt slams it in. But nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward. Time but out, he just out. never gives up. And Chris Finch calls timeout here. He is not messing around. Calling them into the huddle. will go for a different look here. Davis, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. Hachimura comes in for Reddish. Austin Reeves is checked in for Christie. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Vincent. And a new group getting ready for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert is checked in for Reed. Julius Randle comes in for Ingles. 
McDaniels is checked in for Alexander Walker. And Mike Conley is subbed in for DiVincenzo. All right, let's get a report from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch was going over with his team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Okay, thanks, Allie. Yeah, Boy, how about the strength of Edwards? Confident in taking on defenders and finishing. Hachimura outside. Knocks down the long J. And that's a clutch Ooh. shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Outside McDaniels. Pass to Randall. Gobert with a screen on James. For three, Randall. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got five rebounds in the game. James finds Atsumura. No good with the triple. The Timberwolves lead by five. Here's McDaniels. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Here's Randall. And another basket from Minnesota. Taking it himself, Randall. Changes who he is when the jumper goes in. The Lakers have got three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Here's James. LeBron gets the bucket inside. And you know, we've come to expect this from LeBron James, guys. I mean, when his team needs a bucket, he rises to the occasion. Pass to Edwards. Got a piece of it. Second chance effort. And gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. Austin Reeves picks one up. Edwards does not back down. Even if it means taking physically hard contact, he's fearless. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. So much confidence coming from Anthony Edwards. You can just see it. This is a guy who knows he belongs in the league and is hungry to be great. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. You know, important for him to come through at the line there because they want to expand that lead. Davis with a screen on Conley to the inside. And Davis slams it home. Poise under pressure to produce at the right time in the big time. A deep. Now here's Edwards. Rebound by the Lakers. James deciding where to go with it. And he's going for the oop here. And finished off by Davis. A.D. is the man. Prime time play by a prime time bowl. Here's Edwards. And it's blocked by Davis. And the whistle blew, so that'll be a shooting foul. A hey, great defensive effort there with the block shot, but he got more than just the ball that time. Free throws coming up. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. up making the second and that gives him a four-point cushion Los Angeles has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter LeBron going downhill and it's good and he's brought them within two points now well they're having major trouble dealing with LeBron money <laughs> great to see guys who don't back 
it down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. And we've got a timeout called by J.J. Redick. There is a lot on the line, and he is determined to make sure everyone's on the same page. Finds James. It's rebounded by Minnesota. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Edwards, a pass to Gobert. And an intentional foul right there. the first one and that puts him up five so he gets them both and it's a six point ball game 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one and so J.J. Reddick calls for the timeout he wants their game plan to be crystal clear at this point James outside about seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks out to Achimura Russell against Conley now here's Russell the D's right on him. Just two to shoot. Achimura from long range. Minnesota with the rebound. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. Shooting two. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. So it's Minnesota picking up the win.
It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. And we present the player of the game, Anthony Edwards.